Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome, glad to have you. Just about to go out for a ride and kind of clear my head. Um, you know, I got to thinking this kind of two types of motorcycle YouTubers. Ones like me who are fairly satisfied and especially the old vintage guys. Uh, boy, they're just, they're just happy to be out on their bikes. And the other camp is those who are never satisfied. Maybe we should just go for a ride. Man, it is a beautiful day for a ride. It's 72 degrees. The sun makes it feel more like 80. Man, love this. Anyway, my question for the day for you, uh, and this makes a difference to my channel. How many of you guys think some of these YouTubers have gone too far. And what I mean by that is uh, building their bikes to the point of being, I don't know, totally ridiculous. And uh, you know, the, the new 2024s came out and I swear there's two or three YouTubers that didn't wait for them to be 24 hours old and they're just ripping them apart. You gotta tinker with it. You gotta open that motor up. Cause before you even get used to it, yeah. I know better than the engineers who built this. It really is disturbing. But even beyond that, how far does this go? Um, these guys are building their bikes to 200, 210 horsepower. I mean, if, if you want to go to the track and build a special bike for the track, I, I can see that. You're young and you got lots of money and you don't care about blowing your engines up. You want to get to the track, have a track day. I see that. But there are some of these uh, YouTubers out there who aren't young men that are never satisfied. They just keep tinkering with... This is, this is one YouTuber up, up north. I swear he's had a, a new bike every year for the last three years. And he's blown two of them up. It's like he doesn't learn. Of course, he got a 2024. And then, uh, yeah, first thing he did was start ripping it apart guys find that interesting or do you find it stupid? You know, I think we'll turn around here because the sun is uh, at my back. Makes for a bad camera shot. Anyway, What was I saying? Oh yeah. I think there's a uh, a not so fine line between doing some upgrades and uh, being just totally stupid. Because how much is is enough, and how much is too much? Now I know everyone's got their own thing. I guess some people have unlimited money. And, uh, you know, I've done some upgrades, but it seems like if you just have a stage two, that's just a normal day. And uh, unless you're sticking something else on there, some guys are taking all the weight off their bike using carbon fiber because they want to lighten it up. Maybe they could lighten it up by just maybe don't eat lunch a couple of days. 
But uh, man, some of this stuff is so expensive. And I don't have that kind of money. And I'm, and I, you know, God bless the ones who do. But I think as people who watch YouTube, it gives you a false sense of, uh, of being a writer. And, uh, and maybe you're thinking, ah, I gotta build my bike. All these guys are getting up to 200 horsepower and changing their gauges and changing all this stuff. Does it make you feel like you're uh, not doing enough or you need to spend more money? Because I guarantee you, some of these YouTubers are doing it and these manufacturers love them. Because they're making you guys feel guilty that you don't have all the cool stuff. Thank you, buddy. Do any of you all feel guilty because you uh, haven't built your motor? Spend another three grand on it. You don't have all the cool stuff. You don't have the right gauges. gives a really bad impression that creates, creates some damn anxiety out there. Now I did another video on this thing. It was called Just Ride the Damn Bike. But I think things are even more out of hand now than they were when I, uh, when I did that video. When I did the other video, the 2024 set been out yet. And I've got another uh, mod coming up on this thing next week. Uh, it's not a performance mod. It's something else just to make uh, my life easier with this bike and make it a lot safer, actually. But that, uh, that's a video I'm saving for uh, Saturday, next Saturday. It's something I should have done a long time ago. But I'd really like to hear your thoughts on this. And, uh, I just think it's really out of hand now. When I saw those guys, even the new 2024s, you can't leave them alone. One guy even had a CVO. You know, you touch that CVO, you do anything odd to it, you're just screwed that bike is worth. CBOs retain uh, their value by uh, not touching them. And if you put a set of mufflers on it, you can keep the old ones and stick them in the attic somewhere. Make a turn here. Getting on your bike was supposed to be less stress. And uh, when I want to get out and clear my head, I just want to hop on the bike. I don't want to have to worry about taking it in. What's it running like? What are you going to do with 200 horsepower? place you can do something with that is on the track. I guess if you live somewhere in uh, Arizona or somewhere we can get on some of these roads for flat and go, but even then you're going to so get a ticket. So next week I'll have that uh, new video out. A mod that thinks, I think that makes sense. Uh, not a bunch of horsepower, something very different. Something I should have done a long time ago. So let me know what you think. Some comments down below.